Hi everyone, welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to create a QR code and then learn how to decode it. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel, like the tutorial and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. And before starting, let us have a simple question to brush up on our knowledge. And please answer in the comment section below, we will update the correct answer in the pinned comment. And your question is, what does QR in QR code stand for? And your options are quick record, quick response, quick review or quick restore. You can pause the video, give it a thought and answer in the comment section. Now moving on, let's learn a few facts about QR codes. QR codes are quick response codes used to store information that can be used to make a call, send a message or email open a website or even redirect to a location and a QR code can store up to 4 to 9 6 characters or 7089 digits in a single code making it viable to hold large amounts of content. Let's see how a QR code is generated on web. We will open the browser and search for any free website that is used to generate QR code. We will search QR code generator. And we can enter any URL or any text to just create a QR code. So we'll write simply learn. And you can see your QR code has been generated. You can download it, copy it and send to anyone. And he can just scan it and see the text simply learn. To check it, we can also open a QR scanner in our mobile phone. For that we'll just write QR scanner in our Google Chrome or any browser and open any free one and just scan it. You can see that it has scanned and decoded it as simply learn what we have encoded it in it. So let's move and create our own QR code scanner using Python. For that first we'll create a folder. And name it as creating QR scanner and inside it we will open the command prompt and open Visual Studio Code. I have chosen the Visual Studio Code as my editor. You can choose any like Jupyter Notebook or PyCharm, any editor. And inside I will create the file and name it as QR scanner dot and now the first thing we have to do is import the python modules so for that the first module we would be importing is python qr code that will write the command pip install qr code as you can see that it states that the requirement is already satisfied. I have already installed the Python package. You can use this command to install that. And if you face any issues, just comment down in the comment section and we'll get back to you. Now, moving to our Visual Studio code, we will import the package, import QR code and now we'll use the function make to make a QR code. For that we'll write QR code dot make and inside we'll just copy any URL link or any command, any contact information or anything. So we will go to a browser. And open the YouTube and search for creating a virtual assistant 
in Python. And we'll copy this URL and paste it in the make function so that we'll get the QR code of our own video that is creating virtual assistant using Python. Now we'll save this into a variable and name it as my qr and get this variable saved as a png image so that we can get it in our folder as our folder only contains the python file now when we save this as png file Now you have to save your code and just run it. You can see that myqr.png has been generated. So just open it. You can see that you have got your QR code generated. And you can also make some options that is scale. I will set the scale equal to 8. We'll save the file. And run it and you can see the QR code scanner now we will use a mobile phone you can use any mobile phone Android or iPhone and just check it using any QR code scanner that is available on your browser or you have any other app you can use that I'm using a free version on my web and that is QR code scanner dot in and on scanning I got the link and when I open it I am redirected to the video that is how to create a virtual assistant using Python so we have successfully made the QR code scanner now we have made the QR code scanner and we can also decode it using the Python libraries. So for that we have to install two more modules that is PySbar and Pillow. For that we will write the command pip install PySbar. You can see that the requirement is already satisfied as I have already installed these modules and we also installed pip install pillow. This is also installed and if you face any issue in installing these packages just comment down in the section we will get back to you. Now moving on to our Visual Studio code. <coughs> now we will use the class decode first we will import the packages only from pyspar dot pyspar import the decode class and from hello for the image class now moving to decode that QR code we will use the decode class from Pi's bar and use the image class and open our PNG file that is what he named as myqr.png And now we will store it in a variable that would be equal to and now we'll print what is decoded what would be decoded and we'll just get the value for that we'll get the information at the zeroth index 
that is data we will decode it in ASCII so yeah now we will save our code and run it here you can see that you have got this link that is recorded what you have encoded in the QR code scanner and now I have a question for you to just check whether our QR code is working or not now you have to make a task to just scan the QR code and see whether it's working or not for that we will create my QR1 equal to QR code dot make and inside we will get a link for our website Now we'll save the file and run it. And we get also as an image for that. We'll write myqr1.save and the name of the file and at a scale of 7. We'll save the file run the file here you can see that the QR code has been generated and we have get it paste it for you guys so just scan the QR code and check whether it's working or not so just scan it and answer as yes or no in the comment section below if it's working just answer it yes else no and with that, we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section below. And stay tuned for more from Simplina. Thanks. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.